Good morning students. Today we are going to see about two gap model in development economics. Now this two gap model, uh, this is introduced by Professor Hulis Chenery. And uh, if you see the history behind this two gap model, uh, we all know that uh, less developed countries and the developing countries, they are facing many difficulties in their path of uh, growth. Say for example, they face um, um, <coughs> medical facilities, lack of medical facilities, lack of transport facilities, lack of educational facilities, agricultural development is poor, industrial development is poor, scientific development is poor, technological development is very bad. So, already many developing countries and the less developed countries, they are facing a lot of difficulties. In this situation, Holy generis, he is talking of two important constraints, two important uh, gaps that is arising or that is hindering the growth of the less developed uh, countries. Now, he is mentioning about two gaps. One is a savings gap and another one is a foreign exchange gap. Now, savings gap is, it is telling about the gap between the domestic savings and the investment required for takeoff. Now, savings gap arises when S is less than I and growth is attained by foreign aid through filling this gap. Now, foreign exchange gap, this arises between export revenue and the imports needed for development. Now, this gap arises when foreign exchange requirement is higher than the net export earnings. Now, when you see further on that, he is also explaining about the two gaps mathematically. So, Chenery is of the view that because of two gaps in the less developed economy like savings gap and investment gap, uh, they are finding it very difficult to uh, come up with their economic development. So, he is mathematically trying to explain this also. I minus S is domestic savings gap, M minus X is foreign exchange gap and Y that is equal to C plus I plus X minus M. And that he takes as a first equation where Y stands for national income, C consumption, I investment, X export and M for imports. And Y minus C, if we take this C left side, Y minus C that is equal to I plus X minus M. And uh, we know the fact that Y minus uh, C that is always represented by S, yes, national savings S. Yes. Therefore, S is equal to I plus X minus M or I minus M, yes, that is equal to M minus X. That will be the second equation. What is it? I minus S, investment minus savings. M minus X, import minus export. So, when this gap becomes equal, uh, we say that um, there is import-export gap prevailing and the savings-investment gap is also prevailing. And uh, he has uh, given the uh, pictorial explanation for uh, his theory. And uh, uh, say for example, um, this uh, diagram, if you see here, OX, uh, this represents a target uh, growth rates and OY, it represents X and T gaps. Now, IES, the thick, uh, the thick line, I minus S, this is a X and T savings gap. And the thinner line M minus X that proves about the X anti foreign exchange gap. And if the growth rate, if we take it as G, there if you see there is no gap between the X and uh, the X anti savings and the X anti foreign exchange, both are equal. But if we consider the targeted growth rate G1, there the X anti foreign exchange gap is higher and the savings gap is lower and if you take the G2 targeted growth rate there we have ex ante savings gap that is becoming higher and ex ante foreign exchange gap that is becoming lower. So C and D that gap it is telling which, uh, which gap is felt more uh, than the other one. Say for example, C and D, if you take C, that is representing about the ex-ante savings gap. And uh, D, that is representing that line represents about the ex-ante foreign exchange gap. So, the gap between these two, C and D, 
that tells us that uh, they are not equal. We have variations. And he is of the view that if uh, the developing countries and the underdeveloped countries, less developed countries, if they have to improve in their growth process, somebody has to help them. And uh, it is said UDCs need external funding to supplement domestic savings. So they have to get external funding. Uh, funding maybe the uh, developed nations they can provide they can render their uh, helping hand uh, to the less developed countries and the developing economies so that they will be improving um, in all areas and uh, here comes foreign aid foreign aid comes as a way of filling these two gaps to achieve the targeted growth of the economy and uh, he is also talking about uh, the constraints to economic growth. He is uh, talking of two constraints. One is a savings constraint and another one is a foreign exchange constraint. Savings constraint is if savings gap is higher than the foreign exchange gap. We have seen about two gaps, savings gap and the foreign exchange gap. And when the savings gap is higher than the foreign exchange gap, that will be called as a savings constraint. Foreign exchange constraint is if foreign exchange gap is higher than the savings gap. So these two constraints, if that prevails in the economy, somebody has to help them. Maybe the developed countries, they should come and uh, render their helping hand in the name of uh, foreign aid. And uh, he is also talking of the solutions. If savings constraint exists, Foreign capital will equal the gap between increase in investment and the increase in savings by increasing income. When savings gap ceases to exist, target growth is ensured. Or in other words, if foreign exchange constraint exists, foreign capital will equate the difference between the increase in imports and exports and will try to achieve the targeted growth. So, on the whole, he is of the view that Every less developed countries and the developing economies, they are facing difficulties. Especially they face two gaps. One is a saving gap, another one is a foreign exchange gap. And they are facing constraints also. So because of that, they are not able to develop their economy. So if some financial help come, come in, the names of, in the name of foreign aid, definitely they will be able to sort out all their uh, problematic areas. And they will also improve in the in their growth process now, this is a contribution of um, chenery uh, tomorrow we will see about the next model thank you